So, you're finishing your game and you're wondering if a publisher will boost your release. And perhaps you prefer working independently, but you know, want to get that marketing support that publishers offer and finance and these other things. But is a publisher necessary to make a successful game release? The answer is no. In this video, I will discuss the advantages of getting a publisher and the disadvantages of also getting a publisher to release your game. So let's get started. Straight up, when you think of a publisher, you think on the financial benefits that it will bring you, on the marketing benefits that it will bring you, overall all the things that they place you over the table that you can take advantage of. And yes, at first it sounds very good, but you need to consider some things. First of all, they will get a percentage, of course, all your profits in sales. So it isn't like just benefits coming over here. But of course, it might be worth it, especially if you're an indie developer that your name isn't really recognized out there. For example, let's say that you're making your first game release and overall your trailers isn't doing very well on YouTube and Twitter and things like that. And here, taking a publisher could be a great marketing advantage because they could supply all the videos, promotions, and overall context that they have in their gaming network to overall empower and make the people know about your game. And maybe because they keep some profits, right? You won't get as much money from that first game, but very importantly, your name will be out there. So in that situation overall, publishers can be very, very benefiting if you are an unknown game developer. Now, in the case that you're not really worried about that, well, publishers can also just not be very good at communication. I've heard a lot of my fellow indie game developers just complain about their publishers just not respecting their overall projects and, you know, just things about their game, right? They want to change their stuff so it's more marketable. And that's the thing that publishers will do. And it's just overall have a level of authority on top of you. Now, this is not always the case, but in a lot of them, yes. So you need to be careful on what you sign on that contract. Overall, they will just shrink your creative control in your game. And that's the thing that you want to make sure that is clear when you sign up with them. Also, remember that maybe the ownership of the IP of your game will be owned by them. So again, you need to be very, very careful when you're dealing with this publisher over here. So you own that IP. And I mean, if this is your first release, and like I mentioned, you want to stop being an unknown game developer and get out there, well, this will benefit you and you might not really care about the AP. It might be a quick game that you're just launching to, you know, just get your name out there. And in that case, again, bullshit will be very benefiting for you. Now, in the case that you're just looking to make a fun game and get it out there, bullshit will not really take any advantage. I mean, nowadays, games can do very, very well on just indie basis. And I mean, you have all these tools as Steam, YouTube, Twitter to get your name out there without needing just publishers, contacts, and this, you know, very marketable promotion videos, right? Nowadays, it's just easier to make games and publish them independently. For example, in Steam, you just simply need to pay a simple $100 fee, and that's it, right? You just need to meet with their rules and we're good to go. You can publish your game and it's now out on Steam. And I think that Steam is one of the best platforms out there to put your game. First of all, because it's a serious commercial platform. So people are there to actually buy and play games. Now we have other places as HIO, which you can use to begin learning game depth, but not specifically be serious about it, right? And actually sell your game over there. Now about the rewards about publishers, Yes, they will give you finance support. They might give you more developers to work with. But I think that there's one key element on getting a publisher, and that's marketing, as I mentioned before. I think that the only reason you should really get a publisher is to market your game, because they will have the money and the context to get your game out there. For example, in the Summer Game Fest, in the Game Awards, in IGN, things like that, or just have a lot of context for YouTubers and things like that to get your game out there. But really now making a game isn't that expensive that what it was, you know, some years ago. Now really you can make your own game independently and pretty much for free. I mean, we have all these free tools out there. We have Unreal Engine, which is free. Unity, which is free. Godot, which is free. We have the whole YouTube platform to learn a game with. 
We have these people out there that are passionate to make games that might help you and give you a hand on just making some 3D models or things like that. We have AI like ChatGPT or Luma AI to create 3D models and help you create, you know, or all your game. There are no barriers anymore and you're not limited to publishers in order to make a successful game release. Now you can do it all independently, which is the best thing ever. So with that said, just make a decision. You know what I would do? I would simply just reach out to some publishers out there and pitch my game and see in what ways they would benefit me and restrict me at the same time. And on that, just make a decision. You don't lose anything by just pitching real quick a game to a publisher, you know? It's just launching up an opportunity with it, and maybe you could decide if you will get it or not at the end. But our door just opening the doors is a very, very good mentality. With that said, and yeah, the answer is that you don't need a publisher anymore to make a successful game release. We have seen a lot of games out there just be successful without needing a big publisher or even an indie publisher behind. And just overall, surely, purely being independent. With that said, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of unbeliving to my videos and throws, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all I said, bye bye.